What up, Internet Land? Mark Fest, author, creator of Survival Guide for Living Car Free in America. Uh, doing my daily gym visit, and I realized I should share a little bit about that. After I came back from Arizona, uh, I started gaining weight again. So I was up in the uh, lower 60s, peaked at 163. Um, I, I had been losing weight uh, in Arizona, and I was just like, no, I don't want to lose my gains. So I kept going back and forth about the gym once every few days, and uh, 30 reps of this, and uh, you know, how long in between each uh, session, um, just all that. And I realized I just needed to get back down here. So for about the past month and a half, every day, or almost every day, I've been on the rowing machine for 20 minutes. There's a lot of glorious simplicity. And when you realize that you're not doing something because it's becoming too complicated, you need to simplify it. And if you want to get in shape or better shape, whether it relates to living car-free or not. Everybody likes to go for the treadmills, the Stairmasters. But uh, I think the rowing machine is a better shot. First off, if you have knee problems or foot problems, this is far less weight than treadmill or Stairmaster. Uh, and more importantly, it builds the upper body. Emergency edit. I cannot believe I left out the core. When you row on the machine, not only does it strengthen and build the upper body, it also strengthens and builds the core, which as you get older, for many older people, the back becomes a problem area and for plenty of younger people too and if you do not have back problems enjoy that blessing because if your back is no good then you are no good and so by building the core uh, you are taking a lot of stress off of your back for anybody who wants to row or work out to slim down in the middle. It will help. Though when it comes to burning fat, the abdomen is the last to go. Just accept that fact. Though as you build muscles and strengthen inside the core, muscles metabolize fat. Even when you're asleep, even when you're doing nothing, Muscles always burn energy. So as you build muscles here, it doesn't specifically make this go away, not as fast as you want anyways, but it does help. But it especially takes a lot of stress off your back. The uh, other way it takes stress off your back is as you finally do lose a few pounds here, that is less weight pulling frontwards, downwards, forwards from your back. So strengthening your core, no matter what else you're trying to do, that is always a win-win. For the sake of showing off proper form, all you got to do is pull back. Have somebody spot your form the first time because something I see people do, 
they pull back and then they start to roll or slide up front while they're still pulling back so they do something like and not only are you getting far less out of your exercise but you're also increasing likelihood of injury and that of course is bad so just pull back when you can't go anymore then you just slide back up front upper body and arms is what it works on and if you're lazy like me and you don't like walking or standing then you're already sitting down uh, just like in a bike on each side of the workout it's about a mile from here to my house so I do get some walking in not gonna lie on that part um, this time of year after the June solstice in North Dakota sun's going down at about 920 right now but a perfectly safe way to explore your neighborhood you can at least see what's around which you'll get an idea who's around because a lot of other people are walking around and um, which gives you an idea who you're comfortable with or who you're not. And of course, come winter solstice, which in North Dakota, sunsets around 4.15 in December. Walking in the dark anyways, you have an idea what's around already. But yeah, if you are struggling with weight, struggling with getting in shape, struggling with carpal tunnel, you exercise that greatly reduces the amount of stretching that you need to do. If you're overwhelmed by the idea of going to a gym, nobody ever uses the rowing machine, it's great. And you just sit on here for 20 minutes with or without headset. In my case, over the next week or so, now that I've gotten back into the habit of showing up at the gym. That's what's more important than anything. Consistency. Consistency in the gym is key. Showing up in the gym every day, that's almost more important than what you do. Yeah, if you show up here and you just go and sit in the waiting area, that's not going to help. But if you just show up and do an exercise that grabs your eye. Just do something, one thing. My self-agreement is that no matter how lazy I am, here or into the future, I will always do 20 minutes on the rowing machine. Over the next few weeks, I am going to add to this. Pull-ups, push-ups, anything to increase the upper body. As far as how this benefits car-free, I could, I could walk or ride my bike from here to Florida without any trouble. Except weak spot is on the upper, holding handlebars. You're putting some of your weight forward and if your upper body is not ready for that. You're gonna be more fatigued from a bike ride from that than uh, what you're doing pedaling with your legs. So that's pretty much it. If you wanna see how to get most out of your gym workout and in general, most out of living car free, uh, amazon.com, Sir Thrival Guide for Living Car Free in America. Like, subscribe, comment, especially please comment because that's how I get ideas for what else uh, to put on here, what else you may find helpful towards living car free. And with that, until next, mark out.